So I've got a nice uh, little uh, panel antenna for us to uh, take a look at today then. And uh, it's uh, an N-type uh, panel antenna. It's uh, 10 dB. It's uh, got some weight to it. And it comes from a uh, local company, well, quite local to me, about uh, 70, 80 miles away, from a company in Hull called Solwise. Now, this company sells uh, a lot of uh, network devices, uh, a few antennas, not that many, but uh, they tend to specialise in uh, professional uh, wireless network setups and, uh, you know, networking devices for places like uh, hotels and pubs and, and that sort of thing. But they sell this uh, little antenna. It costs uh, just under £20. Uh, I mean, with shipping, I think I paid about £21 for this. And uh, it's 8 dB, and as I said... It's uh, designed to uh, fit on the outside of a building, so it's uh, well and truly waterproofed. You can see all that sealant around here. And it comes with this uh, nice little clip, a little bit like a uh, clip on a, uh, you know, a tape measure. So you could probably hook this onto your belt and turn yourself into a uh, mobile uh, hotspot. But this is the uh, other bracket that you get with this. Uh, you get screws as well, so you just affix this to the outside of a building and uh, hook that on there to uh, position this outside. And as I said, it's an N-type connector, which is uh, what you tend to get with the uh, more professional outside setups. And uh, it is apparently 10 dB, so I thought it would be really nice to take a look at the inside of this, just to see how they're getting that to 10 dB. And again, look at the uh, quality of the uh, construction and materials used. It's nice to see, you know, a more professional uh, antenna sometimes rather than the uh, cheaper ones off eBay. But uh, let's uh, just quickly have a look at this on the uh, network analyzer just quickly to see how it uh, responds at its uh, desired frequency. So here's the antenna on the test setup then and here's the output on the network analyzer. And that's a beautiful response for uh, 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. I've got the cursor on uh, 2.4 gigahertz and you can see where it dips either side of that it's a beautiful response and it's quite wide as well so it'll work uh, you know even lower than 2.4 and uh, up a little bit as well and still perform really really well that's a beautiful response on the network analyzer so it works really really nice at the frequency of uh, 2.4 gigahertz up to the 2.45 gigahertz which is uh, the center of the Wi-Fi spectrum so what I'm gonna to have to do I don't think these screws are holding it on but I'm going to remove this clip anyway I'm gonna to have to get a sharp knife in between here just to cut and try to release this silicone because it's really really well built and uh, this is some kind of metal alloy on here it's not aluminium because uh, it is magnetic but it's uh, like a galvanized steel I think uh, it's got this finish on there to stop rusting but uh, the uh, weatherproofing this sealant is really put well into place so I'm going to struggle to cut through this I think but I really want to uh, take this apart without damaging the outer case too much but the outer case as well doesn't seem like plastic it seems more like more of a fiberglass construction it's not that uh, really brittle plastic that you uh, tend to get on these types of antennas so let me see if I can get into it and then we can take a look at the inside I decided to leave the clip on there for the moment because I don't think it's holding anything in place but it gives me something to lever on so here's a uh, look at the uh, antenna and uh, it looks uh, remarkably uh, simple at first glance but uh, what we've got here we've got the uh, n-type connector here this is the uh, center pin, the uh, signal part of the uh, N-type connector. So this is going to be the driven element here, and uh, this is going to be the reflector, obviously the ground plane. So this is the driven element, and then we've got this second uh, element fitted on the top here. And I'm just looking down there, and I think it is connected electrically. So it's a little bit like a, a Yagi in a sense. It's a panel antenna, but uh, we have seen this before in uh, other kind of uh, panel antennas that we've taken a look at on this channel. And we've got this second panel here, so it's a little bit interesting. And, you know, at first glance, it looks remarkably like the uh, TP-Link 
uh, panel antenna which uh, if memory serves that had uh, 8 dBm but this has got 10 dBm so it looks very very similar to that one so possibly this uh, second element here is giving that uh, extra kick to the dBm to knock this one up to uh, 10. Now I don't think uh, Solwise uh, manufacture these in-house I think uh, what they do is just buy them in and uh, they rebrand them and sell them on I don't think they have that capability in-house to manufacture these but uh, it is a, a very interesting design so let me uh, take some measurements of this and then we'll go over the measurements so I've quickly jotted down some numbers for this antenna and the spacings uh, this uh, element here is spaced five millimeters from the back reflector and then we have this uh, second space in here really nice uh, brass spacers uh, that again is five millimeters and this secondary element fits on top of that so everything's spaced five millimeters apart and as for the numbers this is uh, the main element here now this is uh, 56 millimeters in that direction and 54 millimeters in this direction the uh, feed point here is 18 millimeters wide and it's 17 millimeters down to uh, the second taper here and this taper is 10 millimeters long 14 uh, millimeters wide and this little piece here is uh, just under 10 millimeters wide so you can see how it tapers down like that now as for the secondary element of course it has a uh, spacer in between but uh, it's also 56 millimeters wide but it's only 48 millimeters high so it's slightly shorter than this first element and I think what they're doing is taking some aspects of uh, a Yagi antenna incorporating it into this panel antenna and as I said we have seen this before so pretty uh, standard on the measurements and if you wanted to recreate this will probably uh, be pretty simple as well and if you're wondering about the back reflector that's uh, 100 millimeters high and it's uh, 90 millimeters wide so again I think the uh, Netgear one was a hundred by a hundred uh, but that uh, you know the the size of the reflector isn't so much set in stone as uh, the main driven element measurements are now you may see as well it's not uh, lined up vertically it's off to a, a slight slant here so they haven't soldered it directly onto the taper here it's a, a little bit uh, wobble to one side but it doesn't seem to affect uh, the antenna too much as you saw on the network analyzer we do get a very very nice response but uh, this is a antenna that's designed to be uh, fitted on the outside of a building and certainly with uh, all the silicone that's uh, down the sides here and by the way it was only the silicone holding it in place the uh, little bracket has got these two nuts on here and uh, i've left that on the back as you can see so it was only held in by the silicone but uh, that would probably do uh, more than a uh, good enough job keeping the water out and holding the uh, antenna together as well so let's give this a uh, quick scan then just to see how it performs from here in the lab See how many access points it picks up. It'd be interesting to compare this to the TP Link one as well, which is a, a couple of dB less. So it's picked up a fair few access points there, and most of them are a nice green colour, so nice strong access points. And the uh, Boncare one, which I normally use as a uh, measuring yardstick, if you will, um, that's coming in at 71%, so that's acceptable so generally not too bad and uh, I'll overlay the uh, TP link one um, alongside this so you can compare them as well so an interesting uh, design then and uh, a very nice construction you have to say from a more professional uh, retailer and you know it is designed to be placed outside it's just got a lot of weight to it and uh, you know the uh, design the materials used you can't really knock them for that but uh, I think it will be an interesting video and uh, you know I'll get on with that uh, soon where we etch out the uh, three different uh, types of uh, panel antenna out of PCBs with the 
different feed points so we can do then do a comparison over on the network analyzer showing the uh, different VSWR uh, outputs of the three designs and also give them a, a scan as well so you can see you know uh, one that's uh, the same design but with a different feed point uh, reducing the VSWR and uh, hopefully we'll be able to show that uh, you know there is a performance drop in that design over the ones that uh, like this one and the TP link one that uh, do have the uh, different implementation of the uh, feed points on this but uh, yeah it should be a good video in the uh, future but if you did enjoy this video please uh, give it a thumbs up any comments or questions drop them below I'll put a link to this one uh, on the seller on eBay and a link to uh, the actual shop you can buy them direct as well and uh, hopefully you'll join me on the next one